eyes are back on Greece as it reclaims centre stage of the European debt crisis amidst international creditor concerns the country will not meet its bailout conditions, bringing back fears of a Euro exit. German Vice-Chancellor Philipp Rossler told broadcaster ARD, if Greece doesn't fulfil those conditions, then there can be no more payments. He went on to say he is very sceptical Greece can be rescued. Greece is calling for more help as it struggles to cut its deficit by 120% by 2020. Greece's international creditors will meet today in Athens to assess the financial condition of debt-laden Greece. Last week, the ECB, IMF and the European Commission failed to reinstall market confidence within the euro after approving a Spanish bailout package worth €100 billion. Euros. The euro weakened to its lowest levels against the yen today after Spain's borrowing costs surged past 7.51%. Market appetite threatens to remain deflated following news of other the Spanish regions also requesting bailout funds from its government as it struggles to make ends meet. In August, Greece is due to pay the European Central Bank a 3.1 billion euro bond payment. The IMF will decide after today's creditor meeting if it will grant more cash to Greece, but already hinted in March it won't commit more aid to the euro member. German Foreign Minister Guido Westerwell told a newspaper, it's in Greece's own hands to ensure it stays in the euro. He added creditors may consider giving Greece extra time. The pressure now lies on Greece, who are already behind on their state asset sales. After only raising 1.8 billion euros, a small amount of the 50 billion euros it aims to raise by 2020. Greece's finance minister, Yanis Stonaris, has proposed 8 billion euros worth of cuts, but it appears to be resisting further austerity in a bid to sustain growth. Former chief of Greece's Hellenic Republic Asset Development Fund, Kostas Mitropoulos, said Greece is unlikely to raise more than 300 million euros this year, short of the 3 billion target. Greece will need between 10 and 50 billion euros extra in financial aid if it misses a target set by its creditors, but whether it's approved remains to be seen, leaving the country closer to the possibility of bankruptcy by September. Well, that's all we've got time for right now. Stay tuned to Dukascopy TV for the first targets in focus of the new trading week. For now, though, goodbye.